Hey everyone, uh, for this uh, video I'm going to be doing a review of the Pulsey Buff Vagabond 2 Power Pack used uh, in conjunction with the Elinchrom Cell Style RX 300 I um, have three in here and I'm going to be testing uh, one, then two and then the three and see how recycling time works and if it actually works <laughs> So I'm going to start it with the lowest setting, 0 0.5 and I'm going to be basically triggering uh, the strobes with uh, this little guy in here, it's an Ellen Chrome Skyport transmitter so I can change the the power output and I can also trigger it from here I think I gotta pull the antenna up so uh as you can tell it's really quick there's no delay at all I think it's going around the 0 0.3 second mark which is the same one you're gonna get if you plug the strobe directly to the wall so it's pretty quick I'm moving to 1.5 in the strobe so increasing one stop of light and here I go again super quick about 0 0.5 or less seconds recycling time so it's working great now I'm gonna jack it up all the way to three so that's one and a half stops more straight here Still is quick, so I'm increasing to 4.5, another one and a half stops more. At this point, even when I'm plugged in to the wall, I would see the delay time probably increasing up to 0 0.6 seconds. Uh, these strobes go as fast as 0 0.3 seconds when used at the lowest power out it, like setting, and if I go to the maximum, then uh, it's about 0 0.8. So let's see how this behaves using the power the power pack. As you can see it's getting closer to the one second mark now. I'm gonna go all the way up to the max, which is 1 second about about 1 second so I would say there's no difference between using the wall or using the strobe itself uh, for comparison what I'm gonna do is actually connect one of the other strobes to the to the wall outlet so and then we can see what the difference is actually we're gonna try it at the lowest setting and then at the highest setting and see how it goes 